What's up guys, this is James Games here with another Siege video. This time I'm coming at you with an in-depth guide for the Operator Ash. I think a lot of players play it incorrectly and I hope I can shed some lines on how I think you could play her more effectively. For my main weapon I decided to go for the R4C over the G36C. Although it's less accurate, the increased damage coupled with some other attachments make this the most viable option for myself. On the site I added a red dot sight, but this is down to your own personal preference. When playing Ash in the playstyle that I'm going to explain the most in this video, I'd normally take a compensator to make the gun more accurate. If you're going to spend a lot of time playing Lone Wolf and in close quarters situations, then I'd strongly recommend the silencer. You only have one option for your grip and that's the vertical grip and for the underbarrel you can take the laser side but again this is your own preference. For the pistol I chose the M45 as I much prefer the recoil pattern to the other choices. It has a much smaller clip but considerably higher damage and most of the time in Siege it's the first few bullets that really count so clip size doesn't matter. I decided not to go for any attachments as I don't like using the laser on pistols too much and the suppressor reduces damage which makes my last point irrelevant. I would normally take smoke grenades to help cover lines of sight as I move forward or help provide cover for my teammates from afar. Breach charges are a must if you decide to push in more often and go for a lone wolf playstyle. This gives you extra chances to break obstacles and attempt to get the enemy stuck in a crossfire. As with most operators, this is the stage where you will decide how you're going to play out the round. There are a few things you want to look out for. Start planning one or two different routes or lines of sight that you want to cover or move down. Take note of what barricades are where and which walls and doors have been reinforced as this will change how effective your breach into the target area will be and how your overall route will pan out. It's very important to take note of the operators that you're playing with and against as this should greatly influence your playstyle of choice for that round. Based on the information you gathered in the last phase, you're going to have to quickly decide on the playstyle of choice for the next round. You have a main playstyle, which is long range combat, offering support from covering positions, using long lines of sight or providing fire from alternate locations, mainly to confuse the enemy and help your team to advance. She could also be played as a sort of lone wolf, where you pick up an extra breach charge and a silencer and move into an alternate location to put the enemy in a crossfire. This is considerably more close quarters than the previously mentioned technique and normally involves you breaching on a floor that's either above or below the target area. Ash also works well when breaching with a few shield based operatives as her breach allows her to clear barricades and obstacles without putting her friendly shield guys at any extra risk. I would only recommend using that playstyle if you're able to communicate well consistently with your shield players. She works well with friendlies like Glass, who use playstyles similar to her own as she can easily clear barricades for Glass to provide cover from really far away. She doesn't really work too well with Fuse, as she may end up destroying a lot of cover he may use to get close to and plant his launcher on. Enemy operators like Tachanka can counter your main style of play. As you try to cover a line of sight, his mounted turret can completely outclass any suppressive fire you may lay down. Doc can also easily outplay you. If you're engaging in combat from a distance and manage to injure an opponent, he can probably heal them before you get into a position to finish them off. I think Ash can be really fun when she's played correctly. She can really spice up gameplay and interact with friendly operators in a variety of ways. I hope you can use some of these tips to make your Ash a little more useful in your siege matches. Once again, thank you so much for watching my Ash Operator Guide. I truly hope you've enjoyed the video and found it informative. And if you have, don't forget to drop me some support below.